Hi everyone, I'm Daniel and I'm a composer. This is an original song that was composed just using Casio's portable keyboard, the CTX 5000. I'll show you how to actually make this song and also introduce various useful functions in four chapters. But before that, let me briefly talk about the features of this CTX 5000. The biggest feature is the AX sound source. AX stands for Acoustic Intelligent Expression. In other words, this high quality sound source can even express the atmosphere of acoustic instruments, utilizing Casio's cutting edge technology. So, for example, the piano. How about some EP? Very cool. Let's go to some strings. A very nice natural decay on that thing. How about some acoustic guitar? And some alto saxophones. And of course, we also have some drum kits on board. But let's listen to the cymbal. A very natural sounding tail end to the sound, don't you think? So this is how simply the good the AAX sound is. In the next chapter, I'll demonstrate how to create your own rhythm, which will become the base of your original song creation. So, check out the rest too. Hello everybody, I'm Daniel. This is chapter one on how to create your own original song. I'll demonstrate how to create your own rhythm, which will become the base of your original song creation. But before that, let me briefly talk about the features of this CTX 5000. The biggest feature is the AX sound source. And another big feature is the auto accompaniment, which is unique to the portable keyboard. It will automatically play like a professional quality accompaniment. If you press this a comp button, it will start tracking the chords like this. Amazing, isn't it? The auto accompaniment of the CTX 5000 consists of eight parts. So it's possible to have a gorgeous sounding band equivalent of eight players, and you can choose up to 235 rhythms. You can have fun with just the auto accompaniment alone, but now I'll show you how to create your own rhythm. First, the drums, which become the core of the rhythm section. You can choose your favorite tone from the various drums. Oh, I like this one. Let's record it. Right on time. Now, let's pick a bass. Same process. Press tone. And let's have a look around for some basses. I would like to have a synth bass. A bit too high. Oh, I like this one. Now, the most interesting part is that we're going to program this rhythm section in the key of C major. So let's do that. Piece of cake. All right, we need some chords in there too. So let's try to find a good sounding piano of some sort. And again, we choose our channel, press tone, 
and let's browse for some pianos. Let's have a look. Oh, I like this one. Let's take it. Fantastic. Now we have our own little tiny rhythm section, but we need to do one more thing. We need to try to balance out the levels a little bit. So let's listen back to that. And we can do it like this. And I would like to bring out the bass a little bit. And like there, we have now our level set for the rhythm accompaniment. Now let's listen to the magic of this keyboard when it's translating my colored chords into a full-blown rhythm section. Here we go. Fantastic. Now your own rhythm is complete and it was so easy. With the CTX-5000, it's possible to make a gorgeous sounding band accompaniment with just one keyboard. And you can save up to a hundred custom rhythms. In the next chapter, I will demonstrate how to make your own custom tone, so don't miss it. Hi everyone, I'm Daniel. This is chapter two on how to create your own tone. The CTX-5000 is installed with high quality AIX sound source that can even express the atmosphere of acoustic instruments. And it's wonderful as is, but with 800 built-in tones, you can actually change them to your liking. Let me explain the steps. First, let's choose the tone you want to change. We are looking to enhance some kind of synthesized lead sound. Okay, I would like to edit this one. So we just hold down the function button and we get into edit mode, where we can have access to change the attack time. We can change the release time. We can even change the cutoff. Very cool. We can also give it some resonance with some nice quacking sounds on the top. And now uh, we can get into the DSP. And I would like to make the sound sound like it has kind of a wah-wah effect on it. So let's check it. I really like this one. And I would like to add something else to it. I would like to add a delay. That's very cool. And a little bit of a reverb. And I actually like the way this sound is turning out. We're gonna exit here. It will tell us to exit and it will write to the last user bank. And if I press here, it will end up on preset 805. And there you have it. In addition, you can actually layer the sounds using the layer function. Let me show you. So right now we have an E piano, sounds like this. And by just pressing this upper layer button, we are adding in some strings to make the sound richer. And when we're happy with this setup, this tone combination, we can register to our registration tone bank by pressing store and the number where you would like to save it. And it should be right here, together with our other custom sounds that we have. Now, you can play with your original tone with just one touch at any time. Your song will be more creative if you use your own tone. 
So in the next chapter, I will demonstrate how to finish up your song. So please don't miss it. Hi everyone, I'm Daniel, and this is chapter three, recording your own song. Now that you made your own rhythm and tone, let's finish up our song. Let me explain the steps. So first, we're gonna record your own rhythm that you made in chapter one to the Sisson track. So let's do that. Next, let's record the melody on a solo track. Also, there's a useful function called a phrase pad. You can pre-record your own favorite phrases or sequences that are too difficult to play by your own hands. And you can play those difficult phrases just by pressing the phrase pad. Let me show you. Let's play it back. And there you have it. Lastly, let's balance out the volume of each track by using the mixer function. Let me show you how easy that is. So first on channel four, we have the keyboard. Around right. If I have a little bit of those blip bloppy sounds. And six is the guitar, rhythm guitar. Let's pull it down a little bit. Hey, not bad. I was able to make the song I always wanted to make. And now you have your original song and your own original backing band. And in the next chapter, I will actually perform the completed song, so be sure to check it out. Hi, I'm Daniel, and this is chapter four, performing the composed song. I'm gonna perform our song that we've created with just one CTX 5000 keyboard. But before that, let me show you a few functions that will be useful while performing. First, the registration function. You can save up to 128 settings, such as tones and effects. On top of that, you can change them in an instant, so it's gonna be convenient while performing. And the arpeggiator. This useful function will automatically play arpeggio by just holding down the keys. Let me show you. Amazing, isn't it? It will automatically do this advanced technique. Also, speakers are very important for performance, right? The CTX 5000 keyboard has high performance bass reflex speakers and a high powered amp, which is powered by class maximum left and right with 15 watts each, and that gives us 30 watts. And that's why these speakers can play powerful bass. 
like this. Check this out. It's that powerful. So you can use the CTX 5000 keyboard for live performance. But now, it is time to perform the song we've just composed with the CTX 5000. How's that? I'm very happy with it. So you guys should create your own songs and astonish your friends. Bye.